what's up everybody welcome back to the Mickey channel and before we get into this video please like the video it helps to let youtube know that my channel you're enjoying it and you're enjoying the videos and you love the videos and it helps to spread it youtube will spread it to other persons when you like the video right so without further ado let's get into the video so today i am going to be talking about eye water so if for those who do not know eye water dancehall artist eye water um so eye water is a is a jamaican dancehall artist who you know he has some fairly good songs oh dear but recently he but well, let's just say he has a very um He has a different look, so to speak. Like black people in Jamaica, um, persons are known to bleach their skin so that they change from a black person into a much lighter skinned person, right? So as to possibly appeal to a wider audience. No, I just think that this is just stupidness. This is clearly foolishness. Because honestly, if you look at it this way, honestly, the way how I look at it, I just feel like when a person bleaches his skin and has a lot of tattoos and so on, he just looks like a, a clone to me, to be honest. That is how the person comes off to me because honestly, you should be able to be yourself. And when you, when you bleach your skin, to me, you're, you're telling white people that, hey, they look better than you. They look better than you as a black person when you bleach your skin. So to me personally, I'm not with that, honestly. I'm not with that whole look and that whole style. That whole style is just not my thing. I don't think that this is a good representation of the country, I think that it speaks, I think that it screams low self-esteem, very, very loud. Now, many persons, they would probably say, you know, it is a trend and, you know, people can do what they, they feel like. Sure, they can do what they feel like. Everyone can do what they feel like. Everyone is free to express themselves in any way, shape or form they feel like. But what message are you sending? To white persons, right? What message are isn't let's just draw the race card. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm drawing the race card. Let's just draw the race card. When you bleach your skin, when you take on a higher color than how you actually look, what message are you sending to other persons when you take on when you assume a different form? A different color what message are you sending on the persons you're telling them that being of a lighter skin complexion or you're buying into the narrative that being of a lighter skin complexion is better than keeping your skin complexion you're buying into the narrative that being of a different skin complexion makes you more successful and i just think that that is just nonsense and this nonsense, it, it has found its way throughout our society. It has found its way seeped deeply in our society. This nonsense that you have to bleach your skin. Or when you bleach your skin, you look much better. To me, that is just low self-esteem. To me, honestly, because if you cannot, if you have to change your appearance or how you naturally are to appeal to somebody, that means that you didn't look on yourself as being complete. You did not look on yourself as being perfect as you are. You just feel that you have to change how you are in order to appeal to persons. So personally for me, I just think that this is um, a stupidness that these artists in Jamaica are doing. Like this whole skin bleaching business is just it's just utterly nonsense to me. And I just think that 
at, it, at the end of the day, everybody is just free to do what they want to do, honestly. But looking at it, it's just nonsense. And when I see even the ladies bleaching and all of that, I just think that I wouldn't be with any one of these women. I don't like persons who would do that. I don't like that. It just doesn't look good bleached with the tattoos and all of that. No, no, that's a, that's a pass for me. Pass for me. Yeah, so that, that is my view on the whole bleaching and changing of appearance. You do not have to change appearance to be appealing to persons. You just need to be who you are and with your strong message and you can appeal to anyone who you want to appeal to. Because at the end of the day, for you to have any form of appeal, for you to have any form of appeal, it's not going to be about how you look. It's going to be about what you say or what you do. Right? It's going to be about what you say or what you do. Not how you, you, you look. Yeah. So that's it for me.